Hello, welcome back to my channel. I finally got the uh, Hornby Live Steam controller set up on my large table. And I'm running my favorite engine, which is the Papyrus. On it right now. So I thought uh, I'd do a quick uh, review. I really had to put a lot of cars on this one because uh, this uh, papyrus does tend to get out of control if I open the steam valve too much. Um, it just flies off the table uh, or it will fly off the table if I, if I don't watch out. Um, so I'm going to just uh, keep it in lower speed right now and with a lot of uh, cars. And I even added some lead weights into uh, well, lead weights onto the uh, onto the tender. Uh, so I have these two lead weights there, and a bunch of cars for it to pull. A bunch of coaches, I should say, for it to to pull. So I haven't run any Hornby Live Steam on this large table for a very long time, ever since I got my first Mallard. It was probably when I did, I don't know, I would say my first YouTube video, but um, it was probably like 2013 or something like that. Like, I would say like 10 years ago. So I haven't run any Hornby Live Steam on my large table here for at least 10 years. So anyway, this is the Papyrus. Just a beautiful dark green livery. It's, uh, I'm gonna put it in simmer mode just so I can get a little bit more time out of the water in the boiler. I don't even have the steam valve fully open and it's just uh, it's really really traveling uh, nicely pulling like uh, 13 coaches let's say 15 uh, yeah around that 13 14 coaches I just love the steam coming out of the uh, stock, or the chimney, and the smell of the steam. It smells great. Uh, it sounds like one of my. Uh, uh, it sounds like uh, one of my. Coaches has uh, come off the track. It's making a funny noise. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm wrong. It sounded like something came off the. It got derailed there. One of the coaches. It's making a funny noise, but uh, it doesn't make. It's not making that noise anymore. Anyway, I'm gonna let it go around one more time, then I'm gonna slow it down so you can see it better on its, uh, on its way back now. It takes some time to slow it down. There's the steam valve, you're controlling the steam valve, so there's still quite a bit of pressure. Uh, that's on it says yeah here we go it's on I'm just gonna take it slow right now here it comes yeah 
beautiful. Let's speed it back up again. It might take a uh, might take a while here. So let's see how many coaches do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, including the little coal tender at the back there. And those Lego figurines, they add up to a, quite a bit of weight. Um, these two, two smaller uh, Thomas the Tank Engine uh, uh, coaches, uh, Clara Bell, and uh, what was the other one there? Oh, here we go. And Annie. Of course, there's Scruffy, where the Lego figures are in. Um, I used to watch Thomas the Tank Engine all the time. I actually have a couple of... Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine engines that I'll... I did one review on one of them. I'm going to do the, uh, an, a review on the James uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. Actually, the tender for James is right there. Uh, probably after I do a couple more videos on uh, my live steam on the uh, large track here. A large table, I should say, a large layout. This papyrus is... It just it's just phenomenal it just uh, if I don't watch it if I don't watch the speed on it it will it will fly off the track I haven't had that happen before but I've had it where I had to uh, like manually like I actually had to grab it um, before it went out of control and it was pulling probably the same amount of coaches that is as it is now the the valve the steam valve is probably i would say three quarters open or half half to three quarters not fully open if it was fully open this thing would be flying i would have to get more coaches like double the coaches uh on it right now that that are on it right now to uh, keep it under control Sorry to make this video so long. I just haven't had a a chance to run my Hornby live steam on this table for a long time. Like I said, probably more than ten years. I've only run the Mallard on this uh, large layout on this large table. I didn't think this was going to run uh, well today. It's actually doing really well. And I'm going to slow it down and have it stop and shortly. Okay, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.